Hello brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm here today with my brother Jacob. Hey. Um, you know, um, today we're going to talk about speaking in tongues. You know guys, um, today my little brother got a new word of speaking in tongues. And um, this is a, a message to encourage people that um, speaking in tongues mm. is real. You know guys, um, I'll let Jacob speak a little bit about it. But just quickly, I'll just say, you know... Um, when I became born again, I didn't speak in tongues fluently. Maybe about a year or two after, I asked God for the gift and then He gave me the gift. And um, Jacob, um, when did you receive your gift? I think it was when we were praying. Eh? Yeah. yeah, it was. Um, it just came over me and then I just started saying, um, speaking in tongues. Um, well, if you guys want to get tongues, um, pray to the Lord. That's like the only way to really get it. It's true. Like, yeah. there's no other way. Like, you can't. Yeah. Um, there's no man that can teach you tongues. Or, you've got to get it from God. It's yeah. the only place to get it. Like, yeah. Amen. Yeah, and that's um. That's the truth. Isn't it? That's true, eh? Because um. Yeah, because in the in the New Testament, in the day of Pentecost, they spoke in new tongues. You know, it's completely from the Holy Spirit. You know, guys, and um, even today, because um, I was encouraging Jacob um, that if you keep on using this gift, um, you'll get new words, and you'll um, your prayer language will get stronger and stronger. And you know, guys, speaking in tongues will draw you closer to God. And not only this, but it releases miracles in your life. You know, guys, it reminds me of when the the apostles were praying for Peter when you know first King Herod um, killed Stephen they stoned him and they started arresting everyone and they arrested Peter and it says that the apostles were praying without ceasing it means that they were praying diligently and I believe they were using their gift of speaking in tongues as well you know guys so I want to encourage anyone today you know guys if you if you don't have the gift of speaking in tongues Ask God, and and you will re, you will receive it. You know, guys. Um, you know, guys. My little brother has um, his own testimony that he'll share one day. But you know, guys. Um, sometimes we don't get the gift when we get born again. In the New Testament, we read that when people got when they became born again, that boom, they started speaking in tongues. For other people, you can be a Christian for ten years and never speak in tongues. But if you just pray with someone who speaks in tongues or you go and ask God for the gift you'll surely get it and it will bless your life because it's a heavenly language between you and God you know and um you know do you want to share a little bit of how you became born again um you know like um I think you were was it when you were 12 and you got baptized I think so yeah I, I think you took me down to the beach didn't you yeah About, yeah uh, um no, no. Yeah, and then you put me in the water. Yeah, and then, uh, that so was about it. Basically, um, when Jacob was about twelve, um, <laughs> he became born again, and we baptized him at the beach. And um, yeah, and, and even then, Jacob was not speaking in tongues, you know. And I think at that point, I wasn't either, you know, guys. So, just wanted to share that, just to encourage anyone who is a born again believer, but they're not speaking in tongues. You know, it was only about a year ago or two years ago that Jacob started speaking yeah. in tongues. So yeah. you were a Christian for about um, your twenty. Started my life for about eight years. He didn't speak in oh, tongues. Six. You know, guys. And for me, it was about three years. I didn't speak in tongues. You know, guys. And um, I just got my little doggos running around. Hey, Peppa, you want to say hello? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you can see them. You know, guys. And we're just at the river here, and it's ironic that we're speaking about speaking in tongues and being baptized you know guys and um i want to encourage any christian um as well if you haven't been baptized in water you know and you believe in you, you believe in the gospel of jesus christ i want to encourage you to get baptized there's a lot of different theologies out there about this but long story short even jesus got baptized in the jordan you know guys you know guys even jesus got baptized in the river you know, guys, so really, unless you're, uh, you know, like disabled and you're, you're in life support and you can't get to water, 
You know, you really have no excuse not to get baptized. You know, guys, I'm not saying that it's nest that you're going to go to hell if you don't get baptized. But what I'm saying is, is that, you know, guys, it says repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus. You know, guys, it's part of the gospel. You know, guys. Um, so yeah. So if you don't have the gift of speaking in tongues, just ask God. You know, guys. For me, I was asking God for about one month of continually asking God, and then it was only after a while that I got the, the gift. Some people get it, like my little brother, just by praying with other people. And some people get it 10 years later. Some people get it as soon as they get baptized. They come out of the water speaking in tongues. And we know people um, who, who have had this experience. You know, so I just wanted to share that Jesus loves you. Speaking in tongues is real, you know, guys. And if you ask God for the gift, He'll give it to you. We're, we're, me, Jacob and me, we're living proof of this. Jesus loves you. Never, never give Amen. up. See you guys. See you. Bye.